Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this if you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fadi Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's anything you guys are looking uh, for us to react to, let us know in the comment section below by dropping us a link, and we'll actually do it for you guys. We also do other things. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Fadi and Jesse 2.0. We post weekly vlogs. Just head there and enjoy the content that's there, and don't forget to subscribe. We also have a podcast called Diving In with Fadi and Jesse. You guys can... You guys can actually find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel. We also have a Patreon where you guys can feel free to become members and we'll be very, very appreciative of that. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking, commenting, everything else that you guys are doing. Thank you very much. I hope you guys are doing alright and I hope you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to what one of you re um requested and it goes by a muslim prayer in the bible so without wasting time let's get into the video most of the time when you hear about muslims on the news you see something like this sheikh habash says his followers are demanding the return of syrian land occupied by israel and goodwill were already a part of his character so just just coming into it, I guess, would be... Phila Collins answers the call to prayer. It's her second prayer. Muslims' commitment to God and to peace. They include praying five times a day. The news loves to show Muslims prostrating, even though prostration is only a small portion of the prayer. As you may know, Muslims perform a ritual prayer at five different times during the day. This prayer is called Salah. There are four positions in Salah. Standing, bowing, prostrating, and sitting. Most of the prayer is spent standing, yet the TV always shows Muslims like this. What percentage of the Islamic world supports jihad? Message that is twofold. First, a Muslim is called to submit to God, and then through that submission comes peace. Maybe it's because they want to make you think Muslims are foreign and strange, and they have really weird, different ways of praying. The funny thing is, the way that Muslims pray is actually a lot like the way the Bible describes the praying of Moses, Jesus, and many other prophets, peace be upon them. What? Huh? You don't believe me? Okay, let me give you a few examples. Cue graphic in 3, 2, 1. When the time for prayer comes, Muslims are commanded to call the people to assemble for congregational prayer. This is called the Adhan. In the Quran, God addresses the believers, saying, O you who believe, when the call is made for prayer on the day of congregation, hasten earnestly to the remembrance of Allah. We find a similar command of a call for congregation in the Bible. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Make thee two trumpets of silver, that thou mayest use them for calling of the assembly. And when they shall blow them, all the assembly shall assemble themselves to thee at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. Before the prayer begins, Muslims make wudu, the ritual ablution or cleaning, done to purify oneself before prayer. In the Quran, Allah says, O you who believe, when you rise up for prayer, Wash your faces and your hands as far as the elbows, and wipe your heads, and wash your feet to the ankles. And what does the Bible say about washing before prayer? Then David got up from the ground. After he had washed, put on lotions, and changed his clothes, he went into the house of the Lord and worshipped. Then he went to his own house, and at his request they served him food, and he ate. And Moses and Aaron and his sons washed their hands and their feet. They washed whenever they went into the tent of congregation or approached the altar. They washed as the Lord commanded Moses. Then the Lord said to Moses, Make a bronze basin with its bronze stand for washing. Place it between the tent of meeting and the altar and put water in it. Aaron and his sons are to wash their hands and feet with water from it. 
When Muslims pray, they face towards the Kaaba in Mecca. This was the first house of worship ever built, constructed by Abraham salam, and his son Ishmael. Salam. This direction of prayer is called the Qibla. Turn then your face in the direction of the sacred mosque. Wherever you are, turn your faces in that direction. The people of the book know well that that is the truth from their Lord, nor is Allah unmindful of what they do. Prior to the prophethood of Muhammad وسلم, the correct Qibla was towards Jerusalem, as was observed by previous prophets. He went home to his upstairs room, where the windows opened toward Jerusalem. Three times a day he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God, just as he had done before. When Muslims perform the daily prayer, Salah, they bow down in prostration to God, displaying their submission to God. And they touch the ground with their forehead and the tip of their nose. Yeah, but come on, nobody prayed like that in the Bible. Are you sure? Uh, let's find out. First, here's what the Quran says about prostration. O oh, you who believe, bow down and prostrate yourselves and worship your Lord, and do good that you may prosper. So what does the Bible have to say? Actually, the Bible has a lot to say about prostration. This one's a long one. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. Manoah and his wife fell with their faces to the ground. When all the people saw this, they fell prostrate and cried, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. So Ahab went off to eat and drink, but Elijah climbed to the top of the Carmel, bent down to the ground, and put his face between his knees. Jehoshaphat bowed with his face to the ground, and all the people of Judah and Jerusalem fell down in worship before the Lord. They knelt on the pavement with their faces to the ground, and they worshipped and gave thanks to the Lord, saying, He is good, His love endures forever. Ezra praised the Lord, the great God, and all the people lifted their hands and responded, Amen, Amen. Then they bowed down and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. While they were killing and I was left alone, I fell face down, crying out, Ah, Sovereign Lord, are you going to destroy the entire remnant of Israel in this outpouring of your wrath on Jerusalem? And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped. And they fell upon their faces. And Moses made haste and bowed his head toward the earth and worshipped. When Abraham's servant heard their words, he bowed himself to the ground before the Lord. And Abraham fell on his face. When the prayer is over, Muslims raise their hands and make dua, thanking God for all the blessings He has given them and asking for forgiveness. Our Lord, give us good in this world and good in the hereafter, and defend us from the torment of the fire. When Solomon had made an end of praying and all his prayer and supplication unto the Lord, he arose from before the altar of the Lord, from kneeling on his knees with his hands spread up to heaven. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou heardest me, and I knew that thou heardest me always, but because of the people which stand by I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. So you can see that it's Islam that correctly continues in the tradition of the earlier prophets. That's because Islam is not a new religion. Islam, 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 which is an Arabic word meaning submission to the will of God, was the religion of all the prophets and messengers. From Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to Jesus alayhi sallam, to David alayhi sallam, to Moses alayhi sallam, to Jacob alayhi sallam, to Abraham alayhi sallam, to Noah alayhi sallam, all the way back to Adam alayhi sallam. All of God's prophets brought the message of Islam, submission to God and Tawheed, the absolute oneness of God. 
It's only people who changed it around. Thanks for watching and may peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum. Very interesting. I um, wasn't expecting this, but I like videos like these. Videos like these are actually my favorite. Where instead of just talking about the differences or bringing to light, or people are shedding to shedding more light on things that maybe we've um, ignored. I really enjoyed this. There's nothing that I can say, but this was very, very educational for me. I don't know about you. You can tell me how you thought about this or what you have to say about this. And we'll appreciate your response. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.